In 2026, the automotive world is about to see a game changer that goes far beyond engines, design, or autonomy. The real battleground is now invisible, and it's called the supply chain. Elon Musk knows this better than anyone. While most automakers still depend on China to keep their factories running, Tesla has decided to declare technological independence using an unlikely weapon, aluminum. It seems simple, but this abundant metal is about to break the monopoly China has carefully built over decades. The move is bold, calculated, and, of course, full of Musk's typical strategic genius, the kind of plan that only reveals itself once it's fully operational. China controls over 75% of global lithium-ion battery production, including refineries for cobalt, graphite, and lithium hydroxide, essential for any electric car. This supremacy didn't come about by chance. It was the result of billion-dollar investments, mining infrastructure, and global logistical control. This made the entire world dependent on Beijing, including the United States. In 2024, this dependence became a real problem when China restricted graphite exports, forcing companies like Tesla to divert over $3.8 billion worth of materials. And that's when aluminum began to shine like a secret letter. Musk realized that aluminum not only replaces lithium in certain applications, but is also a virtually infinite resource, found in abundance in allied countries like the US, Canada, and Australia. Unlike lithium, which must be extracted from specific geographically limited deposits, aluminum has been part of human industrial life for over a century, cheap, recyclable, and with a consolidated supply chain. Furthermore, it doesn't involve child labor or questionable environmental practices, giving Tesla a moral and strategic advantage. In other words, Musk found a way to create cleaner, cheaper batteries free from any foreign influence. The turnaround began quietly. In 2025, the Texas Gigafactory received a new aluminum smelting module dedicated to the production of energy components. What seemed like just another factory expansion actually hid Tesla's preparation for its next leap. Total mastery of the smelting process all the way to the energy cell. The company began to control the purity of the aluminum, the oxide structure, and even the composition of the alloys used in batteries. This vertical integration is what transforms aluminum into a weapon. Not a poetic metaphor, but a real offensive in the war for energy sovereignty. Tesla engineers say the secret lies in extreme purity. Even small impurities can reduce the performance of the new aluminum ion cells, so controlling the process internally is crucial. While competitors still rely on Chinese suppliers for industrial aluminum, Tesla has begun smelting its own metal on American soil within its own factory. This means that every gram of aluminum used in its batteries has a traceable origin and meets Musk's performance standards. It's self-sufficiency that borders on military grade and not by chance. In practice, what Tesla is building is a technological shield. Whereas previously a political shift in Beijing could paralyze the global electric vehicle industry, Tesla can now continue production even amid embargoes or trade crises. And there's something almost provocative about this. A real made in America, not just a marketing hype. Musk is essentially telling the world that if lithium is used as an economic weapon, he has the antidote ready. And that antidote is called aluminum. Most drivers don't realize it, but there's a silent problem with modern electric cars. They charge quickly, but deliver power as if they had the handbrake on. It's as if the car is in a hurry to fill up, but too lazy to accelerate. This common frustration, especially when trying to pass or climb a hill with a full car, has a technical explanation. Lithium ion batteries simply can't release all their energy quickly and sustainably. And that's where Tesla's 2026 aluminum ion battery comes in as a true discharge monster. No exaggeration. The heart of the innovation lies in three words that may sound technical, but change everything. Triple flow aluminum. Unlike lithium, 
where ions must walk along narrow paths, aluminum travels in multiple lanes at once. It's like leaving a one-way street and entering a three-lane expressway. This drastically reduces the cell's internal resistance and allows energy to flow more powerfully, faster, and without heating the system like an oven. The result? A car that responds the moment your foot touches the accelerator, even under pressure. This response is possible because the new design also incorporates a reinforced carbon anode mesh, capable of withstanding up to 1,500 amps of instantaneous discharge, something simply unthinkable in today's EVs. This figure impresses even veteran engineers. And this isn't a short burst of power. Tests have shown that the battery retains 94% of its power even after 10 intense acceleration cycles. We're talking about maintaining a steady pace uphill with five passengers and a full trunk without losing steam, overheating, or leaving that something is missing feeling. Tesla isn't just solving a technical problem, it's breaking a limitation that had been accepted as normal. Electric cars have always been associated with the idea of lightning fast acceleration, but in practice, this only happens under ideal conditions and for a few seconds. After that, the system reduces power delivery to protect the battery, the famous heat protection mode. With aluminum, this safety brake virtually disappears. The battery can continue delivering full power even when the charge is low, even when the temperature is high, and even after repeated acceleration. And this changes the driving experience. An aluminum ion EV isn't just quick from zero to 60, it's quick all the way. Steering response is more predictable, more fun, and safer. There's no delay that makes drivers hesitate when overtaking. Musk understood that reliable power isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. And delivering it consistently can be the difference between a good electric car and the electric car everyone wants to drive. Another curious detail is that this brutal performance doesn't require monstrous cooling systems, while other batteries require liquid circuits, radiators, and even cooling gel to avoid frying. Tesla's aluminum ion battery operates at a low temperature even under intense discharge. The secret? The way the aluminum ions move, they lose less energy along the way, which means less heat is generated. Less heat, less weight in the car, less maintenance, and more space for what really matters, performance. When it comes to electric car batteries, many people still think of them as isolated parts, fitted to the bottom of the car like an accessory, almost as if they were removable. But Tesla has decided to tear up that manual. In 2026, what it's doing is simply merging the battery with the car, creating a single organism where energy and structure are one. It's the kind of change that seems subtle at first glance, but completely alters the logic of automotive engineering. And it all starts with aluminum. Again, now not just as an energy source, but as part of the vehicle's very body. The process has a name, structural integration. And no, it's not just another tech buzzword. Tesla is using the same aluminum alloy as the battery to build the chassis. Only, instead of assembling everything in separate parts with screws, glue, and brackets, it uses the infamous Giga Press to fuse everything into a single piece. No exaggeration, there's no such thing as putting the battery in the car anymore. The car is born with the battery inside. It's like an energy skeleton, an innovation that eliminates more than 400 parts from traditional assembly and makes the production line incredibly fast and efficient. And here comes something Musk loves to do, make the car virtually impossible to copy. Because by combining chemistry and structure, Tesla created a kind of fused trade secret. If a competitor wants to replicate this technology, it's not enough to simply copy the battery cell. They'll need to master high-pressure casting, materials engineering, thermal software, and even restructure the entire factory logic. It's a kind of invisible force field that protects Tesla's progress, while simultaneously speeding up production, reducing vehicle weight, and improving safety. 
The practical impact of this car battery fusion is more profound than it seems. Without hundreds of parts to fit together, production becomes not only faster, but also cheaper. Estimated savings of at least $1,600 per car are achieved in the assembly and materials phase alone. And best of all, this doesn't require any quality cuts. On the contrary, it increases the vehicle's structural rigidity and improves crash performance. The entire structure absorbs impact more efficiently because it acts as a unified energy cage. Another advantage is the thermal channels integrated into the structure. Instead of external systems cooling the battery with tubes and liquids, the car's body itself helps dissipate heat. Aluminum, an excellent thermal conductor, spreads the temperature evenly, preventing overheating points. What previously required complex devices is now solved by the car's own body engineering. It's as if the vehicle breathes on its own, keeping the battery stable even under heavy use or in extreme climates. This integration also means fewer wires, fewer connectors, and fewer points of failure. All of the battery's electrical components, which previously required a network of cables, are now molded directly into the car's body in conductive channels that are part of the casting. This reduces the risk of poor contact, shortens electrical conduction paths, and improves overall system efficiency. It sounds like magic, but it's pure engineering applied with intelligence and the courage to break the mold. Nobody likes to think about it, but the truth is that every electric car carries a hidden risk within itself, fire. It may be rare, but when it happens, the damage is severe. All it takes is a short circuit, a collision, or even overheating while charging to turn a state-of-the-art vehicle into a walking fire. Now, imagine a car with a battery that simply doesn't catch fire. That's what Tesla promises with its aluminum ion system. And it's not just marketing talk. It's a real change at the heart of the battery, capable of eliminating 99.3% of the risk of fire. This changes everything. It starts with the complete absence of a flammable electrolyte. Traditional lithium batteries use solvents that react with heat, easily igniting and exploding. Aluminum batteries, on the other hand, use a highly heat-resistant gel electrolyte with no volatile components. Even if the cell is punctured, compressed, or overcharged, there's simply nothing to burn. Aluminum heats up, of course, but it doesn't react violently. And this alone eliminates any EV driver's biggest fear, an unexpected fire, but it goes even further. The new cell's design uses a honeycomb structure made of solid aluminum, which increases the heat exchange surface area and disperses heat 40 times faster than a standard lithium cell. This structure helps prevent so-called hot spots, which are localized areas of high temperature that can lead to fires. Furthermore, Tesla coated this structure with a ceramic nano coating just 0.5 micrometers thick, which smooths the movement of ions and prevents energy congestion, the kind that creates internal short circuits. Another villain that disappears in this new system is the dreaded dendrite. If you've never heard of it, these are tiny metallic prongs that grow inside lithium batteries over time and can pierce the separators causing short circuits and explosions. The good news? With aluminum ion batteries, they simply don't form. The cell's structure prevents this disorderly growth. This means greater safety, even after thousands of charge cycles. Something that, let's face it, everyone would like to have in the car that takes the kids to school or cruises at 60 miles at metric. Tesla also went above and beyond in the design of the entire system. Each micromodule within the pack is encased in aerospace-grade barriers that prevent heat from spreading. If one fails, which is already rare, internal microfuses open in less than 6 milliseconds, isolating the failure before it affects the rest of the pack. It's as if the system itself has faster reflexes than humans. In extreme tests, such as piercing with a heated needle or deliberate overheating, the temperature never exceeded 80 didactics and returned to safe levels in less than 90 seconds. And best of all, no flames, no smoke, 
no panic. In crash tests, the results are even more impressive. Only one in every 2,000 batteries showed signs of combustion. And even then, it wasn't an explosion. Compared to the 2.5% risk in lithium batteries, this is a huge difference. The aluminum cell heats up to a maximum of 80 dronoxiders, even when destroyed. And because it contains no flammable liquids, it doesn't spread fire throughout the car. It's the modern equivalent of driving a bulletproof tank, but invisible and silent. And all this without the need for cooling tanks or monstrous containment systems. The battery itself is its own safety system. It regulates temperature on its own, distributes heat precisely, and doesn't carry anything that could turn into a fireball. This makes a huge difference, especially for those who live in hot places like Arizona, Texas, or even inland Brazil, where asphalt temperatures easily exceed 60 degrees C. Durability has always been a tempting promise for electric cars, but let's be honest, it rarely delivers without surprises. Most EVs start showing signs of fatigue after 300,000 to 500,000 miles. And when the battery begins to degrade, the car's value plummets. But in 2026, Tesla is pushing that limit. With the new aluminum ion battery, the Model 2 can travel up to 3 million miles without significant loss of performance. It's the kind of longevity that seems more like a commercial aircraft than a city car. And the most curious thing? This absurd endurance doesn't come from a magical component, but rather from an ingenious combination of chemistry and engineering. The first major advantage is the polymer gel electrolyte, which replaces the traditional flammable and unstable liquids used in lithium batteries. This gel has a boiling point of 300 Donaturk, does not evaporate under extreme heat, and most importantly, does not form solid deposits on the electrodes. It is precisely this type of deposit that reduces cell capacity over time. And without it, battery performance remains virtually intact, even after thousands of fast charges and deep discharges. Speaking of fast charging, another factor that accelerates degradation in traditional batteries is the heat generated during this process. In lithium batteries, fast charging means a lot of heat. In the aluminum ion system, Ions move more freely, even at high currents, without generating dangerous thermal spikes. This allows the battery to withstand temperatures of up to 100 degrees Rx, enough to go from 0% to 80% charge in about 3 minutes, and to 100% in less than 5. And best of all, without affecting its lifespan. The numbers are impressive. Over 20,000 complete charge cycles, with up to 90% of capacity preserved. For comparison, this is equivalent to driving the car every day for over 200 years, with the battery still in good shape. Of course, no one will live that long or maintain a car for two centuries, but the message is clear. This battery is no longer a disposable part. It has become a generational component, something that can span decades, owners, and even different vehicles, being repurposed for new uses. This longevity changes the entire cost-benefit equation. Fleet operators, app drivers, logistics companies, 